So hi all, uh, here I am trying to present you an ICO demo. So let me just move back. So here you can see my Ethereum, it has three accounts. So basically the first account in this will be the, the company's account who is going to create the ICO and these are the two other accounts which will behave like an investor okay so I will go ahead and I will first deploy my first contract where I will create the cryptocurrency so let's go ahead and for the demo of this I am using the live server on which we have it here and it's running on testnet so going ahead I will first pull in my contract code is somewhere here yeah, it's here so this is an ERC20 token so you can see the definitions the interface definitions are here for ERC20 now this line so here here we are implementing that interface <coughs> so now new currency <clears throat> and this is the total supply so this is now a fixed value but it can be a dynamic value with your own set of functions okay so moving ahead I will name this constructor also okay so now all these functions are implemented here total supply returns you the total supply variable from here now here is the transfer function defined so this transfer function requires address 2 and uint value where address 2 is the hexadecimal address whom I need to send the money or the cryptocurrency whatever I will create and the unsigned int value it is the value like how much I am gonna transfer it and it returns bull boolean value so again you have this transfer form which is again an ERC20 compliant like on behalf of if you want to do something okay. so that is it approve and then there are the two events transfer and approval so this is this is the basic construct how uh, your ERC20 token should look like and this is the basic implementation of your ERC20 token so I'd like to clarify here is that this this should not be I mean thought of as only as a currency it can be it can be any asset that can be transferred or um, you can give approval to someone to transfer that <clears throat> you can see here three variables are defined these are just used in the ethereum community when you go to ethereum or opstem.ethereum.net because I'm using the testnet so you can see it so I'll just update the names so NEW you are uh, I'll call it so name is new currency <coughs> so I'll take this code and I will switch back to my ethereum wallet so so the reason why we are using ethereum wallet is that I just want to show you the backend part of it I mean this this interface can be designed using web3 along with any HTML base uh, HTML CSS basically this designing and all can come from HTML CSS and this whole application so that it can connect to the running ethereum instance can be done with web3.js so I will go ahead I will deploy already I have deployed one <clears throat> here so you can see this SAM enhanced I have already deployed one currency I will go ahead and deploy another so you will be able to see two two small icons here so now moving ahead in the story now let's say the company X wants to create a new cryptocurrency and these investors will be these two investors will be giving giving this guy ether and this guy will send back the new cryptocurrencies so let's go ahead and create a deploy a new contract so 
deploy new contract I'll select the etherbase I'll paste my code yeah so here it says so I'll select with this contract to deploy new currency is the contract name as you can see contract new currency is I have so I have used it so I guess everything is correct here uh, I have defined the same okay so yeah let's go ahead and deploy it so so you can see this this will get deployed with this base account main main account etherbase this is the main account and this is the total gas text click on deploy so I have to sign this transaction so it has been deployed and as you can see here I have to wait at least someone mines it so that it gets uh, it gets replicated across ethereum network as it is running on ethereum testnet now so yeah looks like someone just uh, I guess I can see in some time so you can see here created contract at new currency from the admin page so in some time I would be able to see here the second currency as well so the reason why it it got true here but you can't see here is that is the delay my system is having to pull back the latest changes from ethereum network so I have to just wait so now you can see this this dot last time block and now you can see here the two IPs are there so the new currency and the same enhanced <clears throat> so moving ahead in the story now what I have to do is this guy sends him one ether in return this guy will send him the cryptocurrency created this is this this is the normal scenario how the crowdfunding works like you give me some ethers and in exchange I will give you give you same worth of my own created cryptocurrency so let's go ahead and send this guy one ether so I will have to copy his address this address so copy address and click on it and I'll come back here and then this guy needs to send him tokens okay to this so he will send him one ether correct it is correct form 2 is correct yeah so now you can see this guy has 13.95 and 39.4743 so I'll just wait someone someone should mine it So you can just see it happened almost 12.95 it decreased by 1 and it, this one increased to 948 okay and you can see three people have confirmed it so that's why I got this now let's say uh, there are many other accounts I mean the investors who sent everyone sent him one one ether so now it's the time that when this this company says that no I have I have earned sufficient money so now let's let's go ahead and send the promised amount of tokens back to each investor so what I what what uh, as per the promise it was that you give me one ether I will give you back hundred coins that is created in this case it is new currency so I will have to copy this guy's address because I need to send this this person hundred new currencies so I will copy his address so again come back here so this these are the two currencies that I just so you can see this is the new currency that I created I mean it is coming from here new currency name 
is coming from here this so click on send send to the investor account address so what I need to send him new currency how much hundred because that is what I promise you give me one ether I will give you hundred new currencies so yeah I'll click on send So it got transferred so again waiting this execution so you can see here contract execution is happening so here I created the contract and here the contract execution because you can see here this function will be called transfer so transfer to the account to one address hundred so this is happening uh, yeah. you can see here I got the notification as well that has been transferred so let's go ahead and see now you can see here this guy has new currency also so let's go ahead and check this account so yes now this is the investors account uh, probably I will change it change the name to investor So you can see this guy got 100 new currency so definitely that 100 currency should have been decreased here so yes you can see here now this has decreased by 100 so here we successfully saw in these three things is that I created the contract let's go to the home page I created the contract here this line then this investor investor one sent some money some money to this guy and then from main account ether base I am sending back 100 new currencies so you can see this minus 1 ether from here and then 100 new currencies coming in so I don't know why the second time the pop-up came anyways our account so it's only 100 so I mean I don't know why that notification appeared twice but yes no double spend happened there you can see here it only directed by 100 and not by 200 so the best part is that this is running on Robston network and I can see it somewhere I can copy this yeah I can copy this and I will try to navigate to 